Hi everyone, I'm Ina and today is the Strat Guys Christmas party. We're gonna have fun and celebrate for the very last time this year. But before that, before we party hard, we're gonna hear the team's thoughts on 2022. Okay, so now we're gonna disturb the healthcare AMs. Let's go. Let's start off with Marie. Hi Marie, what are you most thankful for this 2022? I'm thankful to be here. So it's been a long ride, but I'm, I'm glad I'm still here and surviving. Aww. Thanks. And we're thankful for you, Marie. Thank you. Hi, Joyce. Can I disturb you? Yeah. yeah. So what are you most thankful for this 2022? Being able to meet with my friends after a long period of time. Aww. So was that because of the COVID and the pandemic? That's why you couldn't see them? Yeah, they were stuck in the hospital for a really long time and not only they could travel back to the region that we are in right now. Oh no, thank you so much Joyce. Tammy the reindeer, what are you most thankful for this year? Um, friends and family and also meeting uh, new people here at Street Lights. And tell us a little bit about your headband. Oh, um, this is a reindeer. I really like reindeers. I mean, my favourite thing about Christmas is elves and reindeer. And I always have pimple on my nose, so I always want to be a Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. This is the inspiration behind my me choosing this. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. So now we go to the editors and designers. They're in the studio, so let's barge in. So I have one question for all of you. What is something that you got better at this 2022? Let's start off with Gara. Hi, I got better at being adaptable. Wow. Being adaptable. How about you, Aliza? Paying attention to the details. Aww. Is that because of the designing and everything? Yes. Cool. Let's hear it from Cindy. Um, managing timelines? Again, that was a question, not a statement. So she's not sure. <laughs> How about you, Cam? I got better in getting better. Wow. <laughs> that's what you call continuous learning. But let's hear it from Floor. I think that's what explains it. What did you get better at this 2022? Oh, I got better with self-motivation. <laughs> and that's what we all need, self-motivation. Me, I got better at not having enough sleep and still functioning. Oh my god! So now we have the production and editing team setting up for our team photo shoot later. Come, let's disturb them. Hi, Elise. How would you describe 2022 in one word? Well, not one word, maybe two words. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Hi, Chris. Can I disturb you? Sure. How would you describe 2022 in one word? Blessed. Blessed. That's a way to describe 2022. How about you, Herbert? Persistence. Persistence. Now we go to Master Sergs. Master Sergs. Yep. How would you describe 2022 in one word? Fast. Fast, but he said it slowly. <laughs> How would you, Herdy? How would you describe 2022 in one word? What's good? Um, pretty chill. Like what you're doing right now? Pretty chill. All right, now we head to the lifestyle team. Let's start off with Adam. I have a question for you. What is something that you knew in 2022 that did, you didn't know before? Um, I didn't know I'm going to meet such awesome people, right, at this company. Aww. My favorite people right here. Everyone here is my favorite people. Shrek guys, woo! He's lying. <laughs> What's something that you knew in 2022 that you didn't know before? I didn't know that lunch breaks are very important to take a break in your daily work life. Have lunch more often, guys. Fun fact, Marcus always asks us for grab delivery. Hey, Stacy. So what's something that you knew in 2022 that you didn't know before? Strike Guys is a company that grows with you, uh, not only on for your career, but you know through your life journey as a person. Aww, Stacy. All right, let's head on to Carlene. Carlene, I have the same question for you. What's something that you knew in 2022 that you didn't know before? Right, I learned that when you hire the right people in the right team, it makes all the difference. Aww, thanks Carlene. Did you mean that? Yeah, I love my team. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now we go to the bosses. Let's start with Clara. So what did you accomplish in 2022 and what are you looking forward to next year? Oh, um, well, this year we managed to get a few bright sparks like yourself to join the team Aww. and that was really a great accomplishment. I also managed to get one cat off the street. And uh, for next year, hopefully I will inspire some other people like Marie to help some other cats off the street. <laughs> Thank you so much, Clara. I think we need more cats off the street. 
Hey, Jason. Hey. I up? have two questions for you. Mm -hmm. First is, what did you accomplish in 2022? And second, what are you looking forward to next year? I think 2022 was a really critical year for us because we expanded our clientele, our client base into North America. We built a really good core team here in Strat, guys. I'm really excited about the team that we have. And of course, with all this going for us moving into 2023, I'm looking forward to doing even more uh, big clients across the world, not just in Singapore and in Asia, and to grow our platforms like Medical Channel Asia to become really global and huge. Thank you, Jason. That was a shorter answer than expected. <laughs> <laughs> so that was our year-end roundup. Now we have to go party hard. Bye! <laughs>